What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a ringtone and transfer it to your phone via iTunes. So let's go ahead and take a song that you have here, or a song that you have there. You can take literally any song, and what you're going to want to do with that is open up your web browser, now I'm going to use Opera for this, and type in ringer.org. So now what you're going to what you're going to want to do next is you're going to take your file, your song file and you're going to drag it click drag and drop it into this little thing over here where it says drop. Now once it's finished, so now once it's done processing, it's going to ask you what part of the song you want. If you want the whole song, if you want a small part of the song. Now if I choose this part, I don't know if you guys are going to, are going to hear that. basically going to play it's going to be playing from this part to that part so you need to find the part that you want of the song say you want like a small part of right here so you're just going to click play and that part right here is going to if you leave it at that that part is going to be a ringtone so you need to find out exactly where you, you want your part so i'm going to i'm just going to choose some random part i'm going to choose this right here and now because I'm I'm transferring it to my iPhone, I need to choose the file name M4R because that is the file name, that is the ringtone that Apple accepts with, within the iPhone settings folder. So you need to click on M4R and then you, what you're going to want to do, what you sorry, what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on make a ringtone. So it's going to cut the audio and then it's going to ask you to download it. And you're going to click yes. So you're going to click download and my download folder is right here because I'm using Opera but if you but uh, if you did if you did uh, send it to your desktop then it should be on your desktop wherever it is. So mine is right here. I'm just going to go ahead and transfer that to my desktop because it is a different name so I don't really need to worry about it. So now what you want to do next is click on the little text there and give it a name so that it's not going to look very strange once it's in the iPhone settings folder. So let's name that Dog Fox Frontier. Okay, now the next step is you're going to plug in your iPhone. Now, if you've never set your iPhone up, I do have a tutorial on how to set up your iPhone with iTunes. But you're going to you you, you need to make sure that your iPhone has already synced with your with your iTunes account and everything is accepted and and you've already transferred music before because if you haven't then you really need to set up your iPhone with iTunes with a new account if you've never done it before because otherwise it won't transfer. Um, I hope I'm being clear. So again, you need to make sure your iPhone is connected into your computer through, uh, via USB, the USB wire that Apple provides and you need to make sure that it is synced and recognized with your computer. So once you know that it's recognized and everything of that sort, so what you're going to want to do next is you're going to click on, so right now I'm in the iPhone folder, let's go back one, let's go back, so now I'm in the music folder right here. So what I want to do now, what I want to do here is I'm going to click on that and if you don't see tones over here, you're going to click on edit menu and make sure that there's a check mark by tones. So once it's a check mark by tones, click done, and then you're going to click on tones. So again, what I did was I was in music before, and then I went to tones. Now that I'm in tones, I already have two files in there, those are two ringtones, and I'm just going to transfer this new file right here to docvox frontier that I made. I transfer it in there. Now once that's done, I'm going to click on frontier, and then a, a little thing is going to pop up there. So I'm going to show you again. Right now I don't have anything here that's popped up. So I'm going to click on this, sorry, click, drag. And I have an iPhone thing popped up. And I have the highlight, the blue highlight that's around there. So I know that my phone is fully synced to my computer. So now I can go ahead and transfer it to my iPhone. And because it's an M4R file, it's going to put it in my ringtones folder. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly. Now once that's done, just transferring purchases. Just going to click on X. Now, once that's done, I'm going to click on this little icon here, which is my iPhone, and I'm going to click on Tones. And as you guys can see, Frontier is right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open up my iPhone just to show you guys. 
So now that I am mirrored, I'm going to show you guys where the file is located. So let's go into the settings folder. And we're going to go into sounds and ringtone. And as you guys can see, I now have Frontier up there above. I'm just going to highlight it with my mouse right there. That is the ringtone. And I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys. And that is the ringtone that I just transferred. 25 seconds of it. So that is how you transfer ringtones from your computer onto your iPhone. If you guys did find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And I will catch you guys in the next one.